40 minutes left to do something super special in this group here. Wales will win in Palmer. And it's Karen Lake with a try that settles it. As the final weekend approaches, Wales head to Parma, determined to learn the lessons from the France game and end the tournament on a high. We'll um, review France. First thing, uh, forwards, uh, can you please, one of you, or can you not uh, feed back what you discussed with Cheese to the backs, please? Getting that consistency in the score zone. So, like, defensively in our round, we went really well, but then. We've given a lot of opportunities, but maybe we took the f our foot off the throttle there, so um, how are we going to improve that? Oh, it's brilliant play from France. It's superb finishing from Laurence, and France are cruising. Definitely um, really proud of that second half um, effort we put in. We won it 14-10. They've just got themselves over the line, and it's... Oh, it's down! <laughs> Wales will take real heart. At having won that second half by 14 points to 10. So we can take confidence from that. And I said it yesterday, if we produce that against Italy, they will not live with us. So it's a challenge now this week, firstly to start well and be accurate in everything you do. Um, Italy, from what we've seen, they got threats definitely, their backline is their strength. Transfer the ball really well through their hands, okay, 11, 12, 15 are big threats, okay? They are big threats. But if we shut them down time and space and force a skill error, okay, we will negate them on, on Saturday. We've got a great opportunity to do better than we did last year. F finish with three wins, more points than we had last year. So the team is going to represent us. Gwenny P, Kels, Cecilia, Arby, G, Bethan, Alcal, Shoned, Kira, Snowy, Karis, Heiki, Hannah, Lisa, Courtney, Karis Phillips. Now, I'll be honest with you with Carol, right? And I'll be honest with you. This is Carol's last game she's retiring. Carol has played 17 years in the jersey. 64 caps. She deserves a send-off. I didn't want Carol to have 20 minutes against Ireland in Cardiff, and that was it. But everything that she put in the shirt, so she deserves that opportunity, okay? And we played for her on Saturday. Amelia, <laughs> what an opportunity. Okay? Thank you, thank you, done. <laughs> After weeks of hard work, Amelia Tutt finally gets an opportunity to make her debut. Hello. Hi, are you okay? Yeah, how are you? You okay? Yeah, I'm alright. <laughs> good, good, good. Congratulations. Thank you. I was, I was just in absolute shock. I just, I burst into tears in front of everyone. Did you? Yeah, it was did so bad. Did they laugh at you or did they console you? No, I had hugs from everyone, but I was just, it was just, I can't even remember what even happened. I was just, it was a blur. Because they were still talking, obviously, about everyone else on the team. I wanted to listen because obviously it's, Nice, but I was zoned out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thank you. So tomorrow is going to be good. We've got training and we've got pool recovery, so I'm not quite sure what that will be, but it should be all right. And then Wednesday's a rest day, so I think we're all going out somewhere. Actually, tomorrow night's a meal as well, so that'll be nice with the group. Everyone's getting on really well, so that's, it's nice to be part of it. <laughs> really, really pleased for you. All Thank you. Again. I'll call you again um, tomorrow. Yeah, it's nice yeah. to see you, mate. OK, I love you so much. Thank you for calling. Love you. I don't even know what to think. I'm just absolutely overwhelmed. I was just in shock. I didn't expect this to happen at all. I was just saying, just ran into Sean downstairs. I was just saying to him, not 1% of me thought this would happen. Everyone around me thought it would, but not one part of me did. So 
<laughs> a Six Nations campaign can be gruelling, but if Wales want to end the campaign with an elusive third win, there's no time to let standards drop. If you're tired, if you're in a mood, whatever, you've been it. And for this next 60 minutes, we're on it, we're present, okay? We're accurate. Accuracy really matters here. That we're all going to have on Saturday, it's not going to be easy, okay? And the pictures you're showing us, Fred's doing another breakdown, is superb for us, okay? Well done. Let's go. Okay. Again, go. go. But the more line outs we give them in their 22, the more we beat them by. They got five, six exit line outs. That means they're not an hour half from pressure on us, doesn't it? Right, so that'll shape the game for us girls. That's excellent. This week might be an away game on paper, but for captain Hannah Jones and her fiancé, ex-Italy under-20s prop Dino Dallavale, Parma is almost a home away from home. It was, the pitch was actually good. I think we just oh, swapped yeah, sides because no. they're not going to see me. <laughs> <laughs> Are they still rugby posts? They're gone, are they? So this is where you used to train? Yeah, you'll see over the wall now. Oh, I can't see. Oh, I see the football now. So okay. Han, there is where I used to live. Yeah. And here's where I used to train. Do skills, light sessions. You came in from the other side. Yeah. I was doing my A-levels. I just broke into the Welsh squad. And um, we just had a common interest in rugby, yeah. chatting rugby. And, and then, then I brought you out to it. Oh, it was the worst <laughs> flight I've ever been on, mind. The turbulence, yeah. isn't it? I had some family, random family, like, helping me because I was so scared on the plane. Yeah. And I got you and I said, I'm never flying here again. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it? You didn't come back. I didn't come back. <laughs> <laughs> he took me to a sandwich shop and said, oh, what do you want to eat? Um, he orders the sandwich. I, I bite into it and he's like, oh, that's raw horse meat, by the way. <laughs> it was disgusting. No, no, it's, in Parma is a delicacy uh, of raw horse meat sandwich. Uh, it's a famous shop in Parma called Pepin. Um, forgot to tell Hannah what it was before she took a bite of it. And I had a uh, horse at the time. <laughs> <didn't I? laughs> yeah. yeah, you took a bite. Ah, oh, never again. Uh, it is nice. I'm going to have one later or tomorrow. Is that what you've been looking forward to? Yeah. In Parma as well, the food's really good. So. Yeah, the food's been yeah. good. We'll be, be doing more of a tour of the restaurants, more than a tour of the pubs, I think. Yeah, I think over here. Training the team physically is key but it's just as important to prepare them mentally. It's psychologist Dale Thomas's job to make sure the team are well equipped to deal with the stresses of the professional game. Generally, we look to teach, share, develop, the understanding of the brain, how the brain works, and how we can use that then to improve performance. What we're trying to create is a very psychologically informed environment where the, the mindset comes initially from the players themselves, as a group, as a, as a collective, and I think we're seeing real, real positives with that respect. <laughs> Do you want to just play uh, hot and cold? The importance of just being in and on training, being able to pick up those a couple of small chats here and there, where we can test certain hypotheses we've we've been working on with performance. A big part of that is looking at what we have to accept. So psychology is very much helping the team and individual players focus on what we do have control of. So it's very much using what facts and information we've, we've got present and putting that into the mindset and trying to help the team focus on, on the present moment. So those are the things we can control. And that's what this exercise is about, right? Is, is having that, that trigger word, ice. What I want you to be able to on pitch when you know, the motion's are high, the pressure's on, is what that, that trigger word should do is create that mindset <coughs> discussed and developed throughout this campaign, okay? So the ability then to precise, the ability to, to reset, read what's, what's around us, um, regather as a team, 
and refocus so that we can bring that sort of fire mentality where we need to. So when the fire call comes, we know that's that's intent, that's the TNT, that's, that's you know the drive that we've got to bring that bring that hand. And, and celebrating those moments in, in the game is, is vital. Right, so celebrate, get the ass taps, and then it's ice, reset, refocus, and we go again. Okay. Work's been done, it's been awesome sessions with Dale, awesome sessions on the field, awesome sessions in meeting rooms. It's all about putting it out there tomorrow. Okay? New cap, Amelia! It's the start of one career in the Wales jersey, but for prop Carol Thomas, this game represents the end of a 17-year journey. Carol, I'll ask uh, Cheese here to present the jersey to you, okay? Work with your Worcester, prop to prop. Um, <laughs> 65th half tomorrow, 17 years in the jersey, inspirational. Call the Ricardo, die out. proud to be in the room with you girls. Um, I got my first cap, believe it or not, back in 2006, when Cece and Jenna were in nappies. <laughs> <laughs> Actually been an amateur for 16 years, and then get the final year um, to be a professional has been an absolute dream. And like you saw little Eva, it's bloody mental to think where we've gone from where we started to where we are now. Um, it's just amazing. My time is up. My knees are shot. <laughs> um, thanks, Joe, <laughs> for all your kind of special massages. Um, saying when you pee but we chatted about it last week how back in 2017 you were sat on the bench and you wanted to come on and you weren't coming on and we had the role reversal um in an island um just in the six nations so i'm so proud of you um and i'm so excited to pass on that button for you to flourish in that number one shirt tomorrow we've got one job to do we've fallen foul of them before okay um but let's stick to the plan and finish on the top of the alps because the ski back down will be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the buzzword but they've only won two matches so far Kira Bevan takes it quickly tackled back on her feet rolling towards the try line Wales are within scoring distance and they do score there's no stopping the Welsh pack at close quarters Madia Rigoni, oh, good pass to Franco. Two against one. Muzzo, Hannah Jones covers. Hannah Jones to the rescue. Centimeters separating Muzzo and the Welsh try line. Try. 
Bevan tells Fleming to pick, to go, to place it back. No stress from Kira Bevan, forwards there. Triple Otto there. There's no stopping Cecilia Triple Otto from a metre out. And at half time, it's Italy 10, Wales 17. They're on the edge. Now we're going to tip them over the edge. Okay? We do it by keeping the ball, going forward, winning collisions. Okay? 10 minutes it'll take, 15 max, and they will go. Okay? We help them over the edge. Let's go, let's do it. Clarity. Press reset now. Press the big reset button. We go back to exactly what we did to start the game. We go back to a rumble. We keep taking their legs away. We go back to the rumble. They've had their emotional spike. Off the anthem, big emotional spike. We've gone through the arm wrestle. Let's get on the other side now. Back to the rumble. Back to the scrum pens. Getting that dominance up front. They'll crack again then, last 30 of this second half. Okay? 40 minutes left of this campaign. 40 minutes left to do something super special in this group here. Let's go and do it now. Okay? Let's go. Wales are back where they want to be. In the comfortable arms of their forwards and their pack. Sean and Harris, try number three for Wales. Try number three for the forwards. And the gap is widening. But what about that for a conversion? And it's a two score lead. Snow sell. Alex Callender. She has support. Williams Morris. Williams Morris could go back into Callender. She does. Alex Callender with a try that guarantees Wales a place at the top table of World Rugby come the Autumn Internationals. Lewis, kick through, Lake gives chase, Perrin Lake, Wales will win in Parma, and it's Karen Lake with a try that settles it. What a moment for Karel Thomas, her final international appearance. Wales are out to the gutter. The future promises so much. Yes, there's work to do. But third place for Wales in a 2023 Six Nations competition that has delivered, and Wales have delivered. Girls, team, so proud, right? So proud. Really proud. What a win. We have tough times, we our arm wrestle, got through the other end, stuck to the plan, took our legs away, okay? So I'll be super proud. The progress we've made, three wins, outstanding. <laughs> Who wants it? Who wants it? Three times, Capri, okay? Three times, you A win, and Wales' best finish since 2009. Finishing third guarantees them a spot in the top tier of the upcoming World 15 tournament and a chance to keep closing the gap on the world's best teams. But for now, that can wait. It's time to celebrate and enjoy the moment. <laughs>